this video i'm gonna show you how to use the canva app for your design okay so this is the um home page of the canva application um sorry this canva site so the first thing you have to do is to is either you sign up or you log in okay to sign up is the normal sign up um steps okay so to sign up you can sign up using your google or your facebook account okay you can also sign up using your email so once you've done that they can head straight to the canva application but right now i'm i'm going to open my canva application okay because i have downloaded my on my android device okay you can get this app on i um app store for iphone users for android users you can also get this app on google play store okay just go ahead and download it or you check the um, video the video description box for the link okay so that's what you have to do so i'm gonna head straight to my screen that's a canva application to show you what it looks like all right this is the first thing you see once you open the canva application this is the first interface okay so on this session you get to select any kind of design as you need a mobile, um, mobile video um, um, templates for your design you can see it if you need video um, templates poster templates instagram post which is the popular one you can see the templates all the presets are here okay if you want to create a logo you can get to use any of these presets okay so that's it you can see the four facebook posts youtube thumbnail card instagram story there are a lot of presets that you can use for your design okay almost all social media presets are included in this um canva application okay mostly on the free plan okay you know this cover also has a cover pro okay that's the subscription plan where you can subscribe okay you can subscribe for any of this um plan okay so you, you, you assume you, you like to turn this into a full-time job or business for yourself creating for good for people then it's advisable to get at least the subscribe plan okay so that's it but right now i'm gonna show you how to um get most of this done okay you can see this instagram post on this instagram post you get it to select any of the templates that you like to use all you have to do is to any of the template that you selected you can edit them and make use of them okay so that's it okay for posters same you can edit the posters you can also do same for the flyers okay any template that you like to use for your suppliers you can select any of the templates and edit them okay for presentation invitation cards books cover photo collages um facebook posts phone wallpapers banners menus youtube thumbnails and lots more of them okay you can see all of them so any of the um design that you need you can just select it and edit them okay but um, um today i'll be working on uh i'll be working on how to design a youtube thumbnail okay but before then the design menu is where you get to see your, de your designs okay whatever you design all the um designs you can see these are most uh, most of my designs okay so here is where you get to see them okay so on this particular session so let me move straight to this search bar okay on this search bar is where you get to search whatever you're looking for for instance you want to design a youtube end screen okay on this search bar you can search whatever tools that you're looking for or whatever templates you're looking for you can see the presets will appear okay so all you have to do is to select any of these presets okay that you like to use okay for instance i want to get a youtube thumbnail where you can see you can select any of these places okay so i'm work on it okay? so that's for today i'll be going for a youtube um let's see let's scroll it youtube is screen okay let me search for that it will appear um youtube okay okay, okay. so let's go with youtube thumbnail okay so you have you're, you're going to see most of the templates that will be shown okay you can see you can work with any of these youtube banner okay all you have to do is edit them to your choice okay so 
Um, sorry for that. Let me try and retry my network, okay? Alright, so today I'll be working with this YouTube panel, okay? So let's wait for it to load, okay? It doesn't take time. Alright, you can see this is the image, okay? So you can easily edit this to whatever you want or whatever you feel like, okay? And you can resize the um you can resize this icon, you can you can see it just move move around the text, okay? You can play with that okay so if you would like to edit this test you click on it okay you can highlight it then delete okay let's um let's I'll type web um design um graphic design graphic designs okay so you can see you can be able to move around um the text okay Whatever you can play with these stuffs, okay? So that's how it works. If you like to change or adjust or crop, flip, animate this test, whatever you feel like, you can play around with it, okay? For instance, you would like to animate this test, animate the test. So just select the text that you would like to animate, then um, go to animate, animate the test, okay? You see a lot of stuffs um, you see, okay? You can see. You can anim anim animate the text to any of your choice, okay? You can animate it to your text, okay? So, depending on the one you feel like. So, I think this is okay. Then I will go ahead and select that, okay? After that, you can also choose to add. On the add icon, here is where you get to add templates, okay? There are a lot of templates you can also add, okay? While designing your um your uh, your youtube thumbnail or whatever design it is okay you can add the templates canva gives you free access to templates okay but you can see some of these templates are pro okay some you have to upgrade to the pro version before you can be able to use it okay so that's it but there are also a lot of free templates that you can use on the element is where you get to add any element you like to use the rectangle, the Christmas paper circle, a lot of them, okay? If you like to add lines, shape, graphics, photos, whatever you like to add to your Canva design, this is where you get to add them, okay? So that's it. As for gallery, is where you can upload, okay? On the gallery section, you can upload whatever you like to add to your design, okay? So that's how you go about that, okay? that's how you go about it it's very easy to use okay it's very easy to use so that's it my network is not really that strong but i'll try my possible best to see what i can do with this okay so that's for the upload for the test section is where you can add text to your design okay as you would like to add a new text so what you can do is you can add a heading you can add a subtitle sorry a subheading you can add a, a, um, a body text right okay so that's it why this recently use um precepts these are precepts that you can also add to your design okay for instance you like to add this um first presets which is the graphic design just click on it okay we click on it the, this precept would be added to your design okay I've done that. Let's give it some time for it to load, okay? So that is it. You can play around, um, you can play around with most of these tools, okay? Most of the tools listed here. You can see the graphic design has been added. You can resize it by adjusting it, okay? Hope you can see that. You can see that, okay? So you can play around with it. Let me delete it, okay? You can also click on this icon, this icon to undo the process. Okay, you can undo this graphic design. Assuming I want to undo it, you can see it has been removed. Okay, if you want to bring it back, then you click on the other icon. Okay, so that's how this app is very easy to use. Okay, for instance, I would like to um, also this trade the token lines at the top corner is for uh, it, that's where you get to see if you like to save your 
um, your design to your folder you can click on that okay if you want to change the scroll view to thumbnail view you can click on that you can share or resize your image okay whatever you're designing okay so that's how you go about it it's very 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 easy to use okay so that's it also for this uploads let me try to upload a fly okay so i can show you how that works okay so let's give you some time okay let's try to upload the file okay let me know or see how that works okay oh what's wrong so on this upload session you can upload any of the image you feel like um uploading right so that's how you go about it for instance i would like to upload this image okay let me go back and um, upload this image all right so for instance i would like to change this image okay what you have to do is you click on the image that you like to change okay or you like to replace okay once you have done that you click on replace okay you can replace that image um let's replace it with um let's replace it with this okay let's you can see hope you have seen that you have been able to replace the image right so that's how you go about it most of the designs most of your editing that's how if you like to change the color if you don't like the color when you come to the color you can select any color of your church um, choice okay you can choose black you can choose any color of your choice but i'll go ahead and undo this okay you can see i've undo the process okay so that's for the color preset that's how to edit it if you like to change the effects filter adjust just go ahead and play around with it okay it's very easy to use okay so right now we'll head back to the home okay to show you a lot of things you can also you do from the um canva pro um application okay so aside from designing your instagram post or it's your instagram post um posters flyers and a lot of them okay As you can see this design you can see this design that I just did has appeared on my um, design folder, alright? So that's it. Any design you do, it automatically saves. Canva automatically saves your work, okay? So you can come back and switch back to it and continue your editing, okay? You can see I can switch back and continue from where I stop, okay? So you don't have to save. Canva auto saves your work. So that's how you go about that, okay? So um, on this Canva aside from designing social media posters, logos, and all of them. There are other details you can also design from your Canva Pro. Okay, you can make videos from your Canva Pro. Okay, for instance, you like to make a video. When you click on video, you can make a Facebook video from here. Okay, a video message, a YouTube video, a video collage, YouTube video ad slideshow video instagram video linking and a lot of them okay so a lot of stuff you can play around with this camp okay if you like to also make a uh, video collage uh, um canva pro you can see here are the free presets that you can use for the designs okay so that's how you, you know, even if you, if you don't find what you're looking for you can also search for it okay canva will give you whatever you're looking for Okay, so that's the major, major things you need to know about this application. Okay, so that's the major things about this Canva application, which can be used to edit your work. Sorry. So that's it. I would like to show you also how to use or edit. Um, let me say I want to edit this. Um, for instance, you like to edit your Instagram post. Let's say, um, let's edit this. Mm, let's see, let's edit this, okay? 
let's play around with this for a little, okay? So, once you click on it, what you can do here is you can edit the text, okay? Hope you have seen that. Then click on the text that you want to edit. You can delete this and add whatever you feel like adding, okay? Okay, hope you have seen that. You can delete this and also add whatever you feel like adding, okay? But let me undo the process by clicking on the undo icon, okay? To undo this stuff. Okay? Hope you have seen that. If you'd like to add a new text, okay? You can add a new text by clicking on the plus icon, okay? When you click on the um, plus icon, you can see text, right? So you click on text, then add a new text. Any text you feel like adding, okay? So let's wait for it to load. It's downloading, okay? So let's add a heading, okay? For instance, you like to add a heading. Just click on add a heading, okay? Then you can edit and type whatever you feel like, okay? You can say um, rich, rich web design, okay? You can see this is a heading, okay? If you like to resize the size of this, you can click on front size, okay? Then you can reduce the size, okay? So that's it. If you like to move around this, um, if you like to move this test, you can see this icon. You can position it to wherever you feel like, okay? So that's it. If you like to change the front, you click on front, okay? To choose any front of your choice, okay? You can select any choice, um, front of your choice, okay? So that's how you proceed about it. The color, you can change the color to um, white. Hope you have seen that. Okay, hope you have seen that. Very easy to use. Okay, you can like space format effects and make the object play around with it. Okay, so that's it. When you're done with the work, then click on the um, drop down icon. Okay, to save your work. Okay, you click on save. Okay, you can save this as an image, you can save it as a project. Okay, so that's how you go about that. Okay, so we can save this just by typing save. Okay then the image will be saved to your gallery okay to your phone gallery okay so that's it okay i believe this video really um help you as a beginner okay so go create practice and program with the tools okay if you really love this video and want us to keep dropping awesome content like this please give this video a thumbs up subscribe and um, click on the notification bell icon so you get notified whenever we drop awesome videos like this Okay, so have a nice day. I'm signing out. Peace.